Unmutable Signs. I hope that you're doing absolutely fabulous. Thanks for joining for your next set of readings. We're going to look at the 14th, 15th, and 16th. Uh, if, you last, if you missed the last set of these, uh, you'll just have to go back on my channel and find them. Uh, I normally don't update them, you know, and say on the, I don't know why I'm saying this. I never did this. <laughs> anyway, and you'll just have to go back. If you want to watch them, you just have to go back on one of my recent videos. They'll be found in the description box. I'll just say it that way. Uh, if you're returning, welcome back. Those of you who are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. Listen, I'm real intense on my channel. I don't hold back. I love you over Elohim. I'm not churchy. I'm not religious, but I'm just, uh, I'm free spiritually and I know who my, El who my Elohim is and he's magnificent on my channel. Uh, but if that's not something that you're looking for, then this is where you'll click off. Otherwise, welcome to this channel. Um, those of you who are just recently joined this channel, thank you for finding interest in me, and uh, I look forward to growing with you as I have uh, enjoyed my other um, subscribers who have been with me for a long time, even though I don't interact uh, with my um, my audience that much for personal reasons why I just do it on video and I really from the bottom of my heart when I say thank you for returning back I mean that people I really do and so thank you for sending me energetic love and light it is, it is very much appreciated and uh, anyway so let's take a look mutable signs and see what's going on with your energy you could probably go watch the cardinal reading um, if you are dealing with music industry or something like that, there, there, there was music involved. There was a lot of fortune there and stuff like that. The sun is in a mutable sign. So, you know, just uh, if you feel, you know, like you want to go watch it, then I always just direct everybody to go watch where the sun's at. We all have this energy in us anyway. So, all right. Sagittarius, Gemini, Pisces, you were actually in the, the um, cardinal reading. Um Virgo, let's see what's going on with you. Actually, Aries of Sagittarius is in there. The uh, little Knight of Wands was there in that reading. So, let's see what's going on with you all. Show me energies, please, for Mutable for the 14th, 15th, and 16th. Feeling strange. I don't know why I'm just feeling strange. So if you are new, I feel the energy, and uh, I'm not always strange, but when I feel it a certain way, I know when it's me, and I know when it's the, the uh, spirit itself, and it just, it, it interacts through me, and I don't know how to explain that to anybody, um, but it just does, so if there's moments that something's just really rushing through me, please don't take offense at that. It's just the spirit is expressing in, in a very expressive way through me. We have uh, secrets here, uh, either coming out for some of y'all that be coming out. Some of y'all are just tapping into your intuition on the 14th. Um, something's going to be known because on the 14th, something was closing out with the world card. And um, this is, you know, secrets that are finally closing out and coming to the surface. And it is because on the 15th we have the star there and that's big time exposure we had the uh the the in the hebraic living language we had the empress on one day and the emperor on the other day and they would have been sitting side by side but it came out in the hebraic living language the gimel and the dalit and that's a slicing of something that's war that's uh, all kinds of stuff but we had the other woman for some of you all here, uh, the J, the T, and the B, person, place, or thing, first one or last name, some of y'all are dealing with your job, some of y'all are dealing with travel situations, there's a jet here, somebody's trying to jet, <laughs> it was showing that uh, on the uh, 16th, okay, on the 15th, we have the Ace of Cups, it's also pregnancy situations, so if this is the other woman, and somebody got pregnant, then I send you love and light. Uh, I mean, if some of you all are just using your intuition, just being quiet, you are pregnant, you just haven't brought it out yet, then I could read it that way uh, from the day before. But we do have love, though, overflowing. And this is also receptivity. If somebody's just trying to tap into their intuition the day before and how to be receptive, then we're, sh we're being shown here some type of receptivity here within some type of conception or something's very much emotional. Then for some of you all, show me the uh, 16th. For the mutable signs. Show me the 16th for the mutable signs. The 
somebody's breasts might be, and I don't mean to be dramatic, but um, I just seen breast, okay? Somebody's breast might be um, prevalent for some type of situation, whatever that means, okay? So on 16th, somebody's walking away to go get their nine of cups, okay? So somebody comes and they're trying to use their intuition um, on the 14th and the 15th, they're trying to give a cup. And this makes nine cups, and if they're going to join together, then they are for some reason. Somebody was in and out with the um, Knight of uh, Wands in the Cardinal readings. We have the Sun, so something is positive. This children as well coming out here. It's also government things going on. It's a letter cuff, cough, I mean. Uh, and that's a forcible overthrow of something, okay? So somebody... You know, it has found out, though, about a third party, and this is the other woman, and there was some type of pregnancy. We are seeing something just being forced, and I'm out of here type of situation going on. Hopefully, somebody won't be walking into uh, overindulging energy, because that would be the Nine of Cups. Otherwise, if it's just somebody trying to um, talk about some type of a, a emotional thing, and it's going to end something, then you'll be able to walk away, and the sun actually ends up being the, the most positive card of the deck. Uh, some of y'all are dealing with somebody who is front stage, as we know that the sun represents that, uh, given what was coming out in the cardinal signs, and the sun is in a cardinal right now. Um, somebody's been bucking really hard at something here. Oh, the star buck, is that what it was? Time to wake up now, because the sun's out. <laughs> Something's been forced for a bright future, uh, for a new social order of something that's taking place here. Something's real bright. It's right up in your face. And it's not going to be a secret because when the sun comes out, everybody knows something. You just And it is a star itself. And like I said, the actual star was in the other uh, reading. And that's, a, that's a, a relationship as well with the star card. So whatever that relationship was, not everybody has another woman. Your other woman could be your mother in your, in your business or your sister or your cousin or, or your brother or something like that. It is feminine energy, though, here. But there is a child here, though, for sure for some of you all uh, or your child's done something there's pride and ego here there's there's fame and glory though showing up here and as, as far as the the b and the q is here um that, that that's why i was saying somebody's been bucking the, you know just buck and we've got the horse here and they'll buck as well um somebody could be named somebody's name could be beck or becky is here um there's a cab here, if something happened in a cab or a subway or something like that, uh, then I guess something is made known about something. It's, it's literally just overturned in a very big way within some type of situation. Um, where that is. So somebody plays both sides. I don't know if you guys see that. Somebody plays both sides here. Well, Whatever that is, if somebody's just been real secretive and they've been in your family doing something and acting one way and being another way, then I guess they are, okay? If somebody is sexual both ways, then I guess I could read it that way as well, whatever that is, all right? Um, so on the um, 15th, we have surround and the crown is here and suffer energy is here the crown is encircling the head so somebody's head is just something's emotional here uh, obviously if somebody's having a baby and the, you know your cr the crown of the head's coming out then there's you know there is suffering with that there's labor going on there whatever that is um show me the um eight of cups what this is Obviously, these readings are pretty um, straightforward. Not everybody's dealing with this energy. So, obviously, Yehovah is just, you know, for some people, it's going to just be emotional. So, just take the energy in a very wide sense then. If, you know, if you're not dealing with another woman and a, and a baby being born or something like that, it could be your friend or something. It could be a bystander for all I know. There's terror here. Uh, so, but Yehovah is, I guess, addressing just something very specific here. We have the moon type of energy at the bottom of the deck. There's terror. There's, there's working water here with the sea or something happened at the sea or something very emotional here in whatever's taking place with the head area or there's a compass here. Um, you know, you're pointing your compass and trying to figure out which way to go. And so we are seeing somebody traveling here. 
um, because of something very emotional here, because somebody has just been suffering, the word is suffer, there's a beset type of energy, there's being enclosed within something with this, or you deal with somebody who's in leadership, and the, you know, that would represent being a king or a queen or something like that, the crown energy is here. Uh, it's, since we had on the 14th, the world card represents the teeth. And so somebody's, a, you know, crown of their teeth. They have a crown on their teeth or something like that. Something, something, something with teeth then would be here for that. We have the moon and the high priestess has the moon at her feet. I'm really having a hard time speaking to you guys. I don't know what it is. Um, because there's been secrets. And somebody has played both sides of maybe a family or, the, you know, ch children involved in something here, or the third, if this was your friend or something, and they were, you know, we had the next door neighbor come out on one of my general readings, and somebody got their next door neighbor pregnant, then I guess they did. All right, for some people, or somebody who knew your next door neighbor or something like that was there, then I guess it was. And somebody's trying to play both sides of a situation, then I guess they were. Okay, so some, something though is here about a pregnancy, and it's been uh, a secret, and there's been deception around it, because the Sadi is the moon, and that represents laying down, hunting, and chasing things in ambush as well, and somebody goes out at night, and they do something, playing both sides of something, and something's very much uh, horrible within some type of energy. Now look, the moon and the sun in the Hebrew, in the pictograph, represents molded images, and people bowing down that crap. Somebody's in the occult then here, and which we know about it. We talk about it all the time. And if uh, something's done with, with children, then it was, as we talk about all the time. Okay? And somebody's acting all spiritual, because this is very high volume spirituality, and acting like they're all that, but they're really some somebody that's bowing down to something that don't even have no freaking ears, they don't have no eyes, they cannot freaking speak to you, they're a molding freaking image. All right, and it's a disgrace and an abomination to the most high. Okay, and so somebody's in terror here because the devil's time's up. Stupidness. Something's been working. It's a working water. It's something that's just been going on in the emotions for a long time. Show me what's hidden that's coming to the light. And so when you go watch the cardinal reading, when I ask what's hidden, I meant to say what is hidden that's going to be known coming to the light, okay? Because you're being shown it, okay? Anyway, so you know, but what is uh, being shown here? So prison. Now somebody is going to go to prison, okay? And somebody's also been in prison in their home uh, for some people because the prophecy is here. The Torah represents... Uh, uh, that the high priestess is holding, that stating that um, Jacob would be in his home as a prisoner. And, so, and I know that I am from that household, and so are many of you, have been in their home in prison, but now somebody else, you, they're going to reap what they sow. The tables are turning now on somebody. Somebody's done something really huge in the industry as well. They're going to go, they're going to go to jail. There's hidden apps on the, on the internet. There's fortune there. The sun card can also go back to fortune as well. And we, we really seen a lot of fortune. The fortune card actually came out. So what's hidden that's come to the light is that somebody's going to go prison for something that they did. And it's, the sun is right in the face. No more bowing down to molded images for you in your prison cell. They're not there. I guess I guess if you take it there, I guess you, you take it in your prison cell, you do. What a disgrace. But anyway, you do what you want. You got free will. And this one's got you in prison. Stupidness. So we got death energy here. We do have death energy here. Okay? This is something transformative that's coming to the light. Because some people have literally birthed forth babies for the stupid occult just to kill them. Okay? And they, they better be afraid. They better be afraid. We have an enemy here. And the hostile card came out in the uh, cardinal reading. So somebody's had to just hope against hope. And uh, that's a sucky place to freaking be. Okay? So somebody's now going to, you know, experience what they put somebody else through. This is a homemade um, Hebraic um, deck. Uh, that Jehovah has had me sit down and write up on things from his law, his moral laws, um, just uh, the good, the bad, the ugly, just offset stuff is also in this deck. So we just let Jehovah just speak on what he wants to say um, for mutable signs, please. So there's a standard here. There's some type of identification or a banner. There's an army energy here. Something also was hung up high on a pole, and that'll take you back to that kind of energy, don't you know? 
Um, so some, something was hung up high on a pole and um, whatever that is. But, the, the, you know, obviously we're dealing with, you know, if we're talking about flags and government, then that's here as well. So whatever that is. Um, but there's a standard here. There's uh, an army. And like I said, the, the empress and the emperor together represent a band of men. Okay. So we've got war type energies that people have been in. Okay. So a judgment for bestiality. Well, look, when you cross the line, you cross the line. We've been dealing with, uh, the uh, occult and things like that, they'll do anything. They kill children, they'll lay down with, with, with animals, I guess, because they act like freaking animals. These people are getting out of the freaking earth. It's stupid. Um, there's a bruise uh, here. Well, the devil's getting bruised. That old serpent, we get to stomp the head, right? The sea. If you go look that up in the living Hebraic language, it goes back to where the dragon is, okay? And so no wonder somebody's terrified because they're going to get eaten now. Um, well, anyway, they're already ate up. Somebody's gotten lashed. Look, if somebody hung somebody up on a pole and they lashed them, okay, uh, then, then they did that. They wounded them really hard and they hurt them and they sacrificed them. This energy will go back to sacrificing. And in the cardinal reading was the sacrificing card. It was there. Okay, it's crazy because people get killed for stuff that they try to get away with. Eternal life is here. Yeah, well, somebody did go back, go out into eternity. There's a celebrity here. Yeah, well, the star was there. Somebody's front stage here. Uh, there's a granary, okay, or, it's, or a, um, a barn where grain is deposited. You know, we often get the millet and stuff like that that's come out here. Something about that, about a farm or something like that. Somebody does some things on a farm and it's secretive. There is a memorial here. Uh, there's some, there's some, uh, uh, there's a male here that stands up and he was a, a, a speaker for the family. So somebody of importance then of a family is here. It's going back to speaking about uh, uh, the ram, which would take you to the emperor energy. So here it is. I'm going to take one more for you all. The military is here. Yeah. Well, like I said, we had a band of men. We had the army out here as well. So it makes me sick to my stomach to know that somebody uh, literally put a, a somebody up on a pole and literally beat the crap out of them and did some nasty. And so now let it turn back around upon the wicked and see. Why don't you go ahead and just give your ultimate little sacrifice to your God? Are you willing to get up on that pole and let somebody beat you to smithereens? Will you do that? We want to sit there and watch it happen to you. Okay? Because you guys are freaking kooks for what you do in our earth. Let the fire come upon you and the fire of the in, of, of Jehovah's enemies let him burn you up forevermore. Go out to eternity because you're never going to rise again.